play ball. Happy Thursday to all of our Padres fans. It's opening day. Um, yay, go team. I, I hear you're good this year. I hope you are. Uh, I, I, like to, I like to root for a hometown team that's doing well. I really am a fair weather fan, but here I am today showing my support. Ah, so another rainy day and it's beautiful out. If you haven't seen the flower I posted this morning that's uh, growing right outside the church door on Facebook, take a look. So today, sanctified art seeking, the question is, even though it is dangerous for Jesus to go to Judea, he goes in order to be with his friend Lazarus. So the question is, who in your life has gone that extra mile for you? And who would you go an extra mile for? For whom would you walk the extra mile? I was thinking this morning about um, people who are special in our lives. Then I realized as well that today is my father's birthday. He would be 104 years old today. And you think, how can I be old enough to have a father who is over 100 years old? And, but, you know, my grandparents um, that died pretty early in my childhood, they were born in the 1890s. So I, I stretched this long generational shift. But anyway, uh, back to the point, right? Uh, my dad, yeah, he, he, he's one of those people who did go the extra mile. I, I think of him coming in from the fields, tired as can be, dirty, went to milk the cows and then came inside the house and realized, oh, we have to go to town because David is singing or playing in a concert at the school. And, you know, those school concerts, I've been there too. That just struck me as going the extra mile. And I appreciate you, Dad, for doing that, among, you know, a myriad other things. But uh, who would you go the extra mile for? Um, that's a good question for today. Is there anybody you wouldn't? Because I think most of us would. So with that, have a grateful day. Go team. Uh, hope we have a great season. We. Yes, we. Bye.